infrared thermometer happening here and uh, just shooting parts of the shed. As you can see, the temperatures range from uh, 35 degrees over to 40 degrees at some points. Uh, this is 37 degrees. 38 degrees. So in this video, are we going to show show you how to um, read the temperature of a, a shed surface or any surface that you want to uh, to measure? Basically, what you need is one of these tools here. Um, so what is this tool that we're using here? Uh, this is a uh, infrared thermometer, which just um, takes the temperature reading of any surface where you, where you're shooting. As you can see, the red dot. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. basically, what we have to do is just point these tools at the surface and then press the button, and it tells you. So the current reading of that surface there is 32 degrees. Yeah, okay. Um, so, so this tool is called what? Infrared thermometer gun. And can we, where can we get it? Uh, you can pick it up at any hardware store or eBay. Uh, so there's your hotspot there, you've got 38 degrees there. Okay, so there. if we look at that um, laser light, infrared light. 38 um, degrees. So we point at that and then looking and at about there. these tools here. Thermometer reading it shows that the uh, surface is 38 degrees Celsius. Yeah. As you go along here, back here, it drops to 35 degrees because you've got the tree out there. Okay. The tree out there is very cool, provides a cooling effect. So we can use this tool to read on a house ceiling, uh, on a shed, or on any surface, right? Oh, yeah, it's pretty shady on this side too, anyway, that's why it's dropped okay. down to 34 degrees okay. or whatever. So so you'll, yeah, if you want to install a whirly bird, you want to install it on that end of the shed. Okay. 38 degrees there, 39 degrees. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so, so there you go, folks, to, um, to find out how to uh, read the temperature of anything on, from your shed to the ceiling. Just basically use that too. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more video tutorials.